Good evening, I'm Tom Casperson. I'm the state senator for the 38th Senate District, which is 13 of the 15 UP counties. Uh, I'm here tonight to support this project and ask for your support. I'm asking that you uh, follow uh, the support or what you're hearing from the people. I just want to share with you, some of you may know it already, but some might not. Um, there are letters that I know were given to the EPA from the uh, Senate Majority Leader's Office. It was signed by a super majority of senators from the state of Michigan. There was also a letter signed by the Speaker of the House, which was signed by a super majority of the House members from the state of Michigan. You just heard from the administration, um, and I think there's plenty of other letters from our local officials from the state on down, all in support of this project. So clearly, we have the support of the people to move forward on this thing. So, no! respectful Go away. meeting and we need to actually allow folks to make their comments otherwise not everyone will be able to speak tonight so please respect all of the speakers <laughs> thank you because the elected officials do have to answer to the people and it's coming up in November and at the end of the day um, I've been traveling the upper peninsula and talking to many groups not quite as big as this one but a lot of groups and there has been enormous support for this project we want to see this move forward. I would ask also for a balance. And I didn't see it tonight, so I'm asking for it now. And the balance is the alternative routes that you mentioned. You looked at the uh, difference in the wetlands and the equations that came on. It moved fast enough. I couldn't get the numbers quick enough, but I'm sure it could be figured out. We put a price on wetlands because uh, the other alternative routes were more expensive to build uh, versus the other one for the savings of, I think, seven to eight acres of wetlands between the, the first and the second one. So if you take the difference, that'll give you a price of what we're saying of wetlands is worth an acre of wetlands. So you have that. I would like to see us also balance out the air quality that was mentioned um, with the trucks traveling back and forth. Whenever we're dealing with, say, a power plant, air quality becomes the most important thing on the planet. That's fine. Then let's add that into this equation and let's take a look at how much the air quality is going to be affected by this just to simply get a balance, and I don't, I don't tell you that it's going to be an equal, equal wash, but I think you need to have the balance. You need to share that information with the public so they can make a, uh, an informed decision. We didn't see that. I think the cost, air quality is important, and we heard a gentleman talk about the safety going around through Marquette. Um, there's a cost to that too. And I think all those things need to be weighed in. And one thing I want to leave you with is Michigan is unique. I think there's only two states that have this relationship. And that's where the DEQ takes the lead in Michigan. So if the DEQ ultimately permits this project, I would hope that the EPA would stay with that and support that decision as they have for many other issues that the DEQ has come down with throughout the state of Michigan for many years. So please take all those things into consideration. Please approve this project. We need the jobs. Thank you. Matt Crookie, am I pronouncing that right? Jim Iwanichi? Iwanichi. Iwanichi. Dave Pello and Dave Hall. I'd just like to say thank you for having the meeting here. Um, a lot of the, the concerns that uh, have already been addressed by the uh, prior speakers. I come here from the 110th district, um, Matt Hokey. And uh, so with that, I want to give the support from the 110th district. And uh, I appreciate you putting that in the permanent record. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jim Mawanaki, Engineer Manager, Marquette County Road Commission. We are the applicant. Uh, just uh, some clarification on some of the things uh, in the question and answer period. Marquette County is about 23% wetlands. Uh, total in the county. Uh, we are proposing, proposing wetland mitigation uh, to mitigate for the 26 acres of wetland. Uh, it's approximately two and a half square miles attached to the south end of the McCormick track. There's about 640 high quality wetlands uh, that will be preserved, acres of wetland being preserved, 930 acres of upland for a total of about 1,570 acres, uh, which is over a 21, a 20 to 1 total. 
We believe that public safety will be increased. We have gone through a public process at the Road Commission to determine this is best for the public here in Marquette County, and we would request that the uh, EPA respect that public process as part of their uh, process in moving on. And uh, we believe that County Road 595 is the best, most practical, least damaging alternative looked at, and the Red Road, County Road 510, is not practical and does not meet the project purpose. Thank you. Good evening. I have to bring this down a little bit. <laughs> Thank you for uh, coming here to Marquette County and doing this. I am Debbie Pello, the Marquette County Board Chair person, and I have these comments to make. Um, Marquette County Board has supported this for a long time. It, we supported it when it was a, uh, the Woodland Road. We still support this as the 595 Road. Um, it's my understanding that the mitigation that is the new mitigation that is being proposed is about 25 to 1 in acreage. I think that that would be acceptable to the EPA as their new, new mitigation plan. Stream crossings, I understand it's about 26 on the 595 road and somewhere around 30 on any of the other proposals. We support this for emergency services, economic development, including the timber industry that really wants this badly, uh, recreation development. I have a petition here tonight that was signed many years ago by almost a thousand people that were opposed to using 550 and 510. Um, Re opening a road up in the western end of Marquette County that's going to be paid for by the private industry is really important to the western end of Marquette County. That's a district that I represent. And alternative two and three are longer and they're more costly. So please take those into consideration. Thank you.